Okay, this is a vertiginous, 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 I don't know, vertiginous golf. It's a uh, mini golf game set in a, uh, set in a uh, steampunk uh, dystopian future slash past. Uh, it has a built-in course creator. Uh, you, you are playing the role of a... Um, there we go, let's go into vertiginous courses. Let's do mini put one. There are several courses. We'll do this one. So it's a mini golf game where you are your your only escape from your bleak existence in your um, your tweed and jodpers is to uh, enter a virtual reality world set in set in uh, the skies. The skies being um, where all the rich people live, obviously. So you uh, aim by holding the left button down, and you hold the right button down to adjust the power. Let's see. I think that's. Let's go there. Let's see what happens. Look at that. That was a stunning shot. Stunning. Uh, I played it a little bit uh, on Friday night. It only came out this week, so uh, so it's quite quite fresh and new. So the little bird there, we can take control of the bird and uh, we can scout out the course in more detail. Look at the moving parts. Uh, the holes are quite speed sensitive, so it's not it's not enough to hit the hole. You have to actually uh, be running out of, of steam somewhat when you hit the hole. Right, so what we're going to do, I think, is aim at that angle. Not too hard. But maybe a bit harder than that. To be fair. There we go. Oh no, I could rewind. Can I rewind? No, I can only rewind when I'm playing. There is a rewind function. I've not really figured out how you get at it yet, apart from when it happened in the tutorial. That was nearly a spectacular shot, I think. Nearly. So one over on that hole. Now, as you play the uh, the story mission type bit, oh, that's quite interesting. As you play the story mission quite a bit. There are uh, these record players lying around the courses like that, except with a uh, record on them. Oh, there's a fan. Interesting. Interesting. So, is this trick to play around the hump? Yeah, so there is some story going on. In the, uh, in the main game. I'm not really sure how to get back to the main game without playing the tutorial again. I did try that before we, uh, before I started recording this. Whoa! No, didn't blow it enough. Oh, there we go. Let's aim at the hole. And gently tap it in. Oh, see, that was nearly too, nearly too much. Another achievement for me. So, uh, 
I have been playing Bioshock Infinite this week, and uh, the whole art style is quite reminiscent of that, I would have said. Ooh, nasty. Nasty. Alright. Sometimes it would look awkward. I keep forgetting the difference between the right and the left button, but that's you know that's probably just me. Boom! One under, more money. So I'm guessing. Look at my score card there. One under par, doing quite well. I'm guessing this money you get to spend on improvements and stuff at the end of the end of the course. No, uh, I've not really. Oh, we got that far yet. I'm not quite sure how you go about saving a game. Let's see if I hit escape. Ooh. The holes are quite quite uh, inventive. Can I can I save my current? No. Apparently not. Help. That's the controls. Just our control support, I didn't manage to get the controls to work. Um, the mouse seemed more... more a... Uh, more a... Uh, I don't know, attainable to input? I'm not sure, is that the word? But it's... Uh, you know, it's a, it's a pitch and put golf game. You've not seen the picture in the, in the bit I've shown you here, but you can change club on some of the other courses. Again, I'm not sure how to get to those courses without without um, without getting. Oh, so the story, right? There we go. I did the tutorial. Ah, let's just do one of the story holes then. Just just see the sort of record player things. And also, jiggle, jiggle, drill. Also, the club selection. It's, you know, I say club selection. You can choose a club or you can choose the putter. It's as simple as that. So, we're on a record. I am honoured, as always, to be speaking to the high and also those from the low visiting through the Psy Marvel of Psych Sending to the Illumilush E fields of the Vertiginosphere for another round or thrice of Vertiginous Golf. Even another hour for us, in the highland of New London, is another 60 minutes to give thanks to our King Leopold the Great for saving us from a black death of ground pollution. There you go, that's part of the plot being revealed. You can see this course, there's another record player here with coins on it. So what we want to do is figure out a path. Oh, what's this over here? Oh, free strike hole. So let's aim for that. Can we hit it from here? Let's have a look. So I want to sort of go that way and deflect off the wall, don't I? Let's try it and see. No, not quite. Not quite. So I can't go in there now. So let's aim for the record player a bit. Where was the record player at? Oh, oh there we go. There's the record player. Oh, I see. There's another free strike hole over there I could have aimed for. Never mind. So, we want to aim for that record player. There's a fan there, so if we come through this, the fan will blow us that way. Let's try that, shall we? And we want to go there. Don't want to go too hard. 
nearly. Roll back down the hill. Onto the rapper player. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Oh well. Let's play the rapper player. No. That was terrible, wasn't it? Free strike and Yet, some story. We must also look down to the lowland of Scudborough and close our eyes. Send them well wishes and promise that one day, when the skies and time rightly align, they will be with us to share the clean air and Avenir oxygen of our new world. So you can see there's a... Um, there is uh, an element of... Um, ecological uh, ecological damage and stuff and we want to get up the hill and unlock the hole I presume by landing on the record player again where is it there, right there we go, another free stroke One over, not too bad. So that was a story hole. You see the difference was the, the record player things. So there is a story here, which is uh, you know interesting if you're if you're into these sort of steampunk type dystopian dystopian things. Uh, you know, it's not by Shock Infinite, but it's it's interesting in its own right. I think uh, quite a fun game. Uh, once you get the hang of it a bit, I think. Uh, it, it seems to me to be uh, seems to be you know a perfectly acceptable uh, mini pot golf game with with a story wrapped around it. Uh, available natively for Linux, released last week. Worth checking out, I think.